today's video I'm going to show you how to make two different type of wasp traps. One of them uses meat and the other one uses sugary substances. This is July of 2020, so the first trap I'm going to show you how to make is the one that worked for me at this time of the year. The latter half of the video I will show making how to make the other trap and maybe at a different time of the year that wasp trap will work for you. The sugary drinks wasp tra traps were a complete fail. So after doing some reading up, turns out that according to what I read, at this time of the year, which is mid-July 2020 in Nova Scotia, wasps are looking for protein. Now, it strikes me odd that they would be that fussy that they wouldn't take the sugary drinks, but who knows, I've, I saw some other videos and did a little reading and apparently they're looking for protein this time of the year. So let's try that out. And what we do here is, as you just saw, I put some soap in there, some do what is it, Dawn? To break the surface tension of the water. So that as soon as the wasp will hit it, it'll just go right in and drown. Then you take a board like this and have, I think it's, I'll tell you how what the results are. I'm going to put a couple of inches distance between the board and the water. And then we're going to screw some meat to the board, turn it over, the wasps go in, and then fall into the water and drown. Now, from what I've seen, from some other people's traps, this has been very successful, so we'll give it a try. I'm going to use pork chops. I'm a little disgusted with myself. I forgot about these pork chops I bought in the fridge, and they've turned. Now, the video I watched, the guy used chicken. I suspect, even though those wasps are kind of fussy, as far as the sugary drinks go, watch your fingers, as you can see. Hopefully, they're not so fussy that they're going to distinguish between pork chops and chicken. There's our two sugary drinks bottles from last week. You can see on the, the one on the right, I actually tied a piece of ham in there to see if that would work, and I got no response at all. Like literally, not even one wasp in there. So, I'm gonna back off here. And I'll let this roll, see what happens. My trap has been out for a couple of hours now and other than getting extreme interest from the flies, I don't think I can see a wasp in that container. Now, I don't know, maybe it's got to be ground level. So I'm going to try that, hopefully I won't get stung while I move it, but I do know, you know, around here anyway, wasps do put nests in the ground. So maybe I gotta go below where they're at in my tent trailer. Let me try that.
The meat trap has been in the, in the tent trailer for two days now. And I'm getting sick of those wasps owning that trailer. So I'm going to open it up and see what kind of results we have in that. I forgot to get one of those fly hats that will cover your face. But I'm going to hope for the best and covered myself up as best I can here. So I've never had to do this on one of my videos before, but I'm going to do a little viewer discretion warning here because this looks like something off of the Discovery Channel. I've taken our container and the pieces of meat either fell off or, where's my stick at, or they're in that bin and there's maggots all over the place. The flies have had a feeding frenzy and here's this disgusting thing I'm gonna back out here so you can get a perspective now there's a ton of fly bodies as you can see in there but there's a whole bunch of wasps so I think this technique worked The recipe I found said one cup of sugar to one cup of boiling water. I'm going to make up a bigger batch so I got two cups of sugar. And then I'm going to add two cups of the water that just boiled. And then apparently you just let this sit and once it's cooled off Put that into the wasp trap. I might have been a little bit better off to have mixed that in smaller a bit at a time, but I just wanted to do it quickly like that for the purposes of the video. So, there that seems to be all Mixed up, I'll let that sit and show you what it looks like afterwards. And apparently you cover it while you let it sit. To make the wasp trap, we need a two liter plastic pop bottle and duct tape. We're gonna cut the bottle along the top right at the point where the conical portion of it becomes flat. So watch your fingers, obviously. If you think you'll be more likely to not cut yourself with a pair of scissors, then I would try that. And we're gonna just flip it inside like that. Now, I've already made one of these traps. The length of duct tape I used was approximately the length of the pop bottle, as you can see from the way I laid it out. Now, you might come up with your own technique that works better. Whatever works, obviously. I just kind of take it like that. For the last one I did, and then take the cone portion of it, slide it in there. There's your little challenge. See that conical part is already sticking to the duct tape, but you mess around with it, you'll get it. Now it's down the bottle. <laughs> Anybody that watches and has a better means of doing this, if 
feel free to share it with us and comment in the links below. Our sugar and water concoction has cooled down. This is what it looks like. I'll pour it into there. I'm going to try three different concoctions that I've read on the internet that apparently are pretty good for catching wasps. The sugar water mixture we made, pop apparently is a good one, it's uh, Coca-Cola that I'm going to use, and beer. That's the one that's going to hurt, but I've decided to use a light beer so it won't be quite so painful for me. Um, I was going, I had four cups of everything mixed, then it occurred to me when I made this, these, I don't even know if I'll be able to get four cups in, because I want the water, the fluid I should say, to be below the neck of the bottle there. Anyways, let's uh, find out. So we got, actually let's do the pop one first. So, we got four cups of pop. And I've marked the bottle here by my thumb. I might just put it to that level. I want to put a lot of fluid in here because I don't want to be going out there and changing this thing all the time. I want to get as many wasps as I can. So that looks like a fair bit. So that's our pop. Now we're going to do our sugar water concoction. I'm going to move this camera a little bit there just so... See that, and we'll get it to our mark right there by my thumb. There we go. So I just put them next to each other, the bottles, and it looks like I got it pretty close to the same amount. Yeah, here's the one. That's gonna hurt. Wasting beer to get wasps. I'm putting an awful head on that, so I'll let that settle down. And then I'll get it to the correct level. Then we'll put them up by the tent trailer where the wasp nests are and see what our results are. I almost forgot to mention, I'm also gonna put a drop of Dawn dishwashing fluid in there because one of the sites mentioned that the soap will break up the surface tension of the fluid so that the wasps will basically drown faster. So I'm just going to put a drop of Dawn into each one of these. Not the beer yet because the head hasn't settled down out there. Alright. So here's my three wasp killer concoctions sitting on the cooler which ironically enough is responsible for me finding the wasps nest because I had the cooler stored in my tent trailer and I went to get it and that's when the wasps all swarmed out luckily I only got stung once so I'm gonna very carefully go over there put our wasp killer concoctions on top above that door and then I'm going to just let this camera roll and I'll get my video editor person to kind of fast forward maybe we'll we might see some action right off the bat possibly There's a little bit of action, I almost got stung already. 